Hi there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trixie, and in this channel, I upload videos that talk about self improvement, lifestyle, and just everything good vibes. Okay, so today I'm sharing with you more fun Zoom games and activities. You guys sure love the other Zoom games videos that I've previously uploaded, and some of you asked for more, so here I am again. If you haven't seen all of them yet, don't forget to check them out. I'll link the videos down below. Okay, so for this video, I have five online games or activities that are for sure fun but at the same time are focused on getting to know everyone in the call. These are definitely great icebreakers especially if the participants do not know each other. Well actually even if they do know it's still good because they get to know the people even more. Okay so let's get to it. First game or activity is called how many in this group. This game is great to know facts about each other and at the same time see who among you have things in common. It's very simple. The host will ask a random question starting with a phrase how many in this group and then mention something to describe a person like how many in this group have two or more siblings before participants who have two or more siblings raise their hands each of the players will have to guess how many people within the call they think this question applies to or basically guess how many people will be raising their hands guesses can be said out loud or can be written down it's up to you guys once everyone has guessed participants who have two or more siblings will now raise their hands the ones who guess the correct number gets a point. Other sample questions can be how many in this group celebrate their birthdays in the months of April, May, and June? How many in this group cannot function in the morning without their coffee? How many in this group enjoy hiking? How many in this group have been to Greece? How many in this group prefers wine over beer? How many in this group love seafood? The person who gets the most points wins the game. Second game is called this thing is me. In this game, everyone in the call will get to know each other using different items that the host shows on the screen. How does it work? So as the host, you will have to prepare random items like a fork, a notebook, a pair of sunglasses, a headset, a picture of the Eiffel Tower, etc. The host will then show one of the items and pick a player quickly. This player will then have to quickly tell the group anything about himself or herself that is related to the item that the host is holding up. The player will have to start by saying either, this thing is me because, or this thing is not me because. Here are some examples. For a fork, as a player, I can say, this is me because I love eating pasta and eating pasta means you use a fork. When the host raises up a notebook and picks a participant, that player can say, that thing is not me because I don't enjoy writing. I enjoy reading but I'm not into writing. Another example can be for a pair of sunglasses. I can say, that thing is me because I love going to the beach and being under the sun. For a headset, I can say, oh, that is me because I love listening to music every day. For the picture of the Eiffel Tower, I can say, that thing is me because seeing the Eiffel Tower is in my bucket list. So the player picked by the host will have to quickly come up with a self-description within 3 seconds. If he or she doesn't come up with anything within 3 seconds after the host picks, then he or she will lose a point. The host will then go to the next item and the next player. The third game is Group Memory Quiz. The rules for this game is very simple, but it definitely tests listening skills and how good each participant's memory is. For this game, each participant will have to tell the group five things about themselves. It can be about anything, how you love plants, you can tell everyone that you have a pet cat, or you just bought a house, and so on. The rest of the group will just have to listen and focus on the person talking. The host will guide the group on who goes next so it's more organized. After everyone has spoken, the host will ask everyone to take out a pen and a piece of paper. The host will set the timer for one minute. Of course, it can be longer if there's more people. And then all participants will have to start writing everything that they remember and matching the names with the five things they've just talked about. A participant gets one point for every correct item. The person with the most points wins. Another good get to know you activity is the love hate category. In this activity, the whole group will agree on a category and each participant will take turns in providing a word under that category that starts with each letter of the alphabet. Before each word, 
the participant will say either I love or I hate depending if they love or hate the word that they are mentioning. For example, the category is fruits. As the first person, I will have to think of a fruit starting with the letter A. I can say I love apples. The next person can say I love bananas. The next one goes and can say I hate cherries. The next one can say I love dragon fruit, and so on. Each person must come up with something within 5 seconds. It's a really fun activity which also gives you an idea what the others in the group are into and what they are not. Just a quick tip, as the host, you need to make sure that you tell everyone the order of who goes after who because Zoom frames appear differently in every participant's screen. The last game in this list is who's in the picture. In this game, the host will show different photos of participants with their family members, their friends, a photo of them with a pet, a picture of the participant in a costume, or beside his new car, or in a tourist destination, and so on. But the twist is that the participant's face in the photo is covered, and it is for the rest of the group to guess which participant is in that picture. Before the game starts, Ask everyone to send one to three photos with their faces covered. That kind of tells something about themselves. They can physically take a photo of their photo, but covering their faces with paper, with tissue, or basically anything. If their photos are saved in their phones, they can use the editing feature of their phone or use free editing apps like Live Collage. It's really quick and easy to do. For my iPhone, I simply go to the photo, Tap on edit on the upper right hand side, then click the three dots also on the upper right hand side, and then click markup. From there, I just use this pen and start marking. For free apps like Live Collage, you can simply open the app, tap on edit, pick a photo, and at the bottom, when you scroll a little to the right, you will see sticker. Tap on that and you get to pick a sticker to cover the face with. The participant with the most guesses wins the game. So there's my five. I hope this gives you an idea for your next virtual call. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and even share the video. Thank you so much for watching. Together, let's make happiness happen every day and live the lives we love. I'll see you on the next one.